Thank you, Andy. Well, we're going to take a few minutes now and move into a topic that actually is pretty near and dear to my heart. We're going to talk about step parenting. I have been a step parent for about two decades. It has been a blessing, but anybody who is in a step family situation knows that there are ups and downs, there are roller coasters, but if God is at the forefront and through it all, let me tell you, there can be success and there can be some great, wonderful things that can happen. Lori Sugar is here with me today. We're gonna to talk about a, a program that's coming up uh, that's called Smart Steps, a six week program. But before we get into the details of that, let's just first talk about why, why it's important for step families or parents who are going to be step parents to think ahead about this type of thing, about what they're getting into. I think that's the perfect thing is to think ahead. And a step family is not anything like a traditional family, as you well know. And so we've got to always be thinking, how are we going to make this work? Because it's just not the same. What are some of the key principles that maybe parents, step parents, don't think about ahead of time that they get into that are a little bit surprising? I think one of the most difficult things is trying to put your marriage first. In a traditional home, you have several years usually where it's just the two of you and you build that home and you build that relationship. And in a step family, you're just thrown in there together and all of a sudden you're an immediate family. So how do I make that couple relationship work? which we think is key. We think God has to be first, and then the uh, couple relationship has to be second, and then the children. And I think that's the biggest thing we teach our children is that my spouse is my most important human relationship. It's hard to do when the whole blood is thicker than water, and I, you know, I've lived with these kids for years, and this mm -hmm. guy is just coming in. You know, how am I gonna make that work? You know, there's statistics that unfortunately suggest that second marriages, especially ones with children involved, are, are less likely to 70 percent. 70 percent end in divorce. And do you think that's because people are not walking into it prepared and recognizing what they need to do to I don't, make this work? I think you're right. I don't think people are prepared. I don't think they know what to expect. You know, I, when I first got married, I thought, okay, my problems will be different than traditional families, but everybody has problems. Well, I had no idea what those problems were and how to tackle them. So when we went to friends in traditional marriages, their advice just didn't work for us and they didn't understand what we were going through. So let's talk about the, uh, the class that's coming up, Smart Steps. It's going to take place at Lima Community Church. It starts February 18th. It's weekly on Tuesdays through March 25th. It's a six-week faith-based course. And some of the topics, couple relationship, realistic step family expectations, stages of step family development, legal and financial issues, a lot of really important things here. How, is this, how does this course lay out? Well, we, we begin with talking about step families in general and how we got here. And, you know, step families aren't uh, a new thing. Mm -hmm. It's not a new phenomenon. And every day, we, these absolutely. days, it's probably more likely to have that than not. Right. And we take it all the way back to King David and the issues that he had in, a, in step family life. So w we're not new, but we need to look at how we're going to do things right. Um, and it, right to us is going to be different than, again, right to a traditional family. So we kind of build on that then. We... Um, intersperse marriage uh, information as we go along because again we think that is so important to a mm -hmm. step family and then the expectations when you said expectations that really really stuck out to me because we talk about that a lot and maybe not to lower your expectations but mm -hmm. to be careful of what you expect other people to to do in that step family um, I think you have to have very broad shoulders and let a lot of things roll off of them because Again, it's just a different, different animal. I know a lot of people have asked Dan and myself how we have been successful in our, in our blended family, and I just continually have to give God the credit. Absolutely. I would venture to guess that your course is also going to point people to Christ. Absolutely. We kind of use that triangle where it's husband, wife, and if you're both moving towards God, you're going to move closer together. And I think that's the biggest thing that we found. When we stop trying to change each other, we stop, stop trying to change each other's children, and both started moving towards Christ, things started to get better for us. And then our the biggest thing we want to show our children is what a, a marriage is supposed to look like, a, a God-centered marriage mm. is supposed to look like. And when that happened, things got so much better, which oh. I'm sure you know. That's excellent. So, Lori, if somebody wants to register, what do they need to do for the They class? can either call me um, personally or probably the best yep, idea. We got the number on the screen there. Is, yes, 
the uh, Step Forward Men at AOL.com is probably the easiest way to get a hold of us. And registration is simple, it costs nothing, it's free. Um, we just need to know who's coming. And if you have children, third grade and above, we do have a class for them so that they can, uh, again, get some information on how to deal with the things that they're faced with. Oh, you excellent. know, kids don't ask for this. Yeah, excellent. All right, Lori, thank you so much. Thank you also to Bill for the ministry that you have to help families. So don't forget, you can sign up for that Smart Steps class. We'll give you the number again in just a moment, uh, the email address as well. And there is a class for third grade on up. So if you've got stepchildren involved, this looks like a great, great opportunity. All right, we're moving now over to Zach Bowers, who's continuing his, uh, his series with Bill Harris.